I guess we are doing a Q&A because I've been saying that we were going to for five years and we never did. And so I have questions from April and May and June because I kept asking people <laughs> for more questions and then never did a video. So now we have quite a few. So the first one is, where do you see yourself in five years? Married. Married. I'm done with school, and Taylor is close to being done with school. Um, we've both talked about owning our own business together someday. I think we'd, we'd both like to be our own bosses or be entrepreneurs. We'd like to own a house. Um, we talk a lot about that. So... I'd love to see myself in five years married to Taylor with a house and a dog and raising kids. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that pretty much sums it up. Going into the next one, how many kids do you want? Mm, I don't know. I don't feel like we... One and a half. <laughs> one and a half. I don't feel like we've ever really, like, legitimately talked about that. It's always, like, going in between having six more kids as a joke and having no more kids. And so it might be somewhere in between there or... I don't really know. Oh, this could be a good one. How did you meet? So, um, Taylor and I worked together when we met at work. And when Taylor applied, the hiring person at work sent me her resume and I looked at it and um, I looked at Taylor's major and where she'd worked before and I assumed that Taylor was a guy and uh, the position that she was applying for, we've, we've had uh, more guys than girls work for it typically. Um, but anyways, so we... I emailed her for an interview and she came in and Taylor was a girl, not a guy. Um, but anyways, Taylor and I met. Wait, did you not know I was a girl before I came in for the interview? I thought, I I had a sneaking suspicion that you were. That um, I was a girl? Yeah, I may, I, may have, okay. I may have looked you up on Facebook. I may not have. Um, but anyways, Taylor and I actually met at work and uh, known each other ever since. What is Grant's favorite succulent? I honestly don't know any names of any succulents. I look at succulents with Taylor and just go, oh, that looks cool. That one looks neat. They always look like Star Wars plants to me, like something you'd see on like another planet. But I really don't know. I really like cactus, but I don't... We've discussed this, right? Cactus or succulents? I... I think so, but... They might be their own thing. I don't even know, honestly. So, I like the taller, taller stemmed ones with big, plastic, plasticky looking leaves. How old are you both? You first. I am twenty one. And I just turned twenty six. Oh yeah, I keep thinking you're older than that. How old do you think I am? Thirty. <laughs> um, are you going to get married? Maybe. Maybe. We haven't really talked about it. We've <laughs> never talked about this. Not once in our it's life. A pretty, it's a pretty serious commitment to make. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. We, we didn't actually like each other that much, so. It's it's still up in the air, but we'll see. Um, Come visit us on June 6th. <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. What does Annabelle think of Grant? Annabelle has come a long ways with Grant. Um, we had a trip to Minnesota in January. And she got pretty comfortable with me, but then after the trip was over, I went back to my house, and uh, Annabelle went back to Taylor's parents' house. And so, anyways, we 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 have spent a lot more time together, um, and she has just gotten better and better around me and more comfortable around me. Um, she, uh, this past week, let me pick her up and hold her. Um, for an like, extended amount of time. Um, she's always really good about like putting her in and out of the car seat and, 
and getting you know getting her in and out and helping Taylor with stuff. But anyways, Annabelle has come a long ways with me, um, and knows me by name now. So I I think we're mm -hmm. making leaps and bounds, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel like for a long time she was not really used to having someone else around that didn't live with her but she saw a lot and so I think it took her a while to get comfortable with him and then we spent a lot of time with him and I think over that time she definitely started to get more comfortable only because I think she started to think that he was never going anywhere um <laughs> Stuck with me. Yeah, so I think she just got used to it. For those of you that don't know much about me, I have three sisters. Um, and so when we were making lists, um, two of my sisters uh, gave us some kind of silly questions, I guess. <laughs> so the first one from Anna Wiseman says, When did you realize you were in love? Hmm. I don't know. I I think we talk about it all the time, but um, I've become pretty sappy in this relationship, I'm not going to lie. But I I think it's the, the fact of just being so comfortable around somebody like all the time. And I Taylor and I were talking about this the other day, but I've never felt like uncomfortable or awkward or shy around Taylor. Like even when we first met and first started dating, it was just always so comfortable. Like, everything just flowed. But I don't know. I would say probably within the first couple of months, probably the first two months, I I really um, just could not believe how well we got along and then just how amazing, as cliche as that sounds, everyone, how amazing I really find Taylor and how she, she never <laughs> ceases to amaze me every day. There's always something new. What about for you? So... I I don't know if I could like pick out a time frame probably still within like the first month or two but basically like when I realized that every second that I wasn't talking to him I wish that I was or every second that I was not with him I wish that I was that's when it's like oh like this is something different than I've ever felt before which was really weird to me because I was so used to just like getting sick of people and saying hey I don't want to talk to you today I don't want to see you today whatever and that was fine and you know that's just how it went and like that seemed pretty normal but then I don't know like there's never really a time where I don't wish that I was with Grant so I think when I started oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I think when I started to realize that it was kind of just like, yep, this is it. Anna asked another question. It's a question for Grant. <laughs> Who's your favorite sister? Oh, gosh. Definitely you, Anna. Better choose wisely. Always you. Always you. No, I, I love all three of my sisters. They're, uh, they're all very unique in their own way. And I'm all super proud of all of them. Um, so I love all three of you guys equally. Okay, and then his other sister asked, why does Grant hate pickles? <laughs> I also just realized tonight that Taylor is following all my sisters on social media. And I'm not even following all my sisters on social media, so... I love your I'm, sisters. I'm behind. Um, I hate pickles. They're straight from the devil, so... But why? We all know that you, we all know that you hate pickles, but why? If, if, just if you guys watch um, Ken Dom... Ken Dom uh, food reviews on YouTube or Nate Figs on YouTube. Nate's, Nate's an awesome guy. But both of them hate pickles. And I, for a while, would watch these various fast food reviews. And oh, so you were just like hopping on a bandwagon. No, oh, I've, they hate, I've never liked they pickles, pickles and they pickles, agree with so me. I, they agree with me. Or you I, agree with them. I even think Nate had a shirt that said something about it. But anyways, I, I, I hate pickles. the texture. I hate the flavor. I hate everything about them. So You want to know something that's really funny about that? For dinner tonight we <laughs> cut up pickles, we though. cut up cucumbers they were crunchy. and pickled them oh. basically in vinegar and sugar which i'm pretty sure that's how pickles are made except for pickles are like not as big of cucumbers and he liked them so i think the whole not liking pickles thing um 
Taylor and I have is been a cooking lie. together, like which is not something we've done before. Like, I mean, Taylor has cooked for me and made me breakfast and made me meals, and mm-hmm. I've picked up food for her. But we have almost weekly now uh, gotten together and been cooking, which I actually think is really cool. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. And I even, like, texted him today. I'm like, can we cook dinner together? Because, like, I don't know. I really enjoy it. I think it's it's good bonding. You, you get to pick a recipe out and go through it. And I don't know. It's it's fun. You can make it as, play music, drink while you're doing it, make it as fun as you want. So we have two more questions. And they're from my brother's girlfriend, Susie, who I absolutely adore. Before I tell you what the questions are, we might have to do a little more backstory because otherwise it's going to be like, what the heck just happened? In, what was it, February? We were in Phoenix, Mm -hmm. around Phoenix, and we went to go look at rings. And I picked a band out and all that. And then, basically, um, what, a month later, the whole virus thing came about, and we never ended up getting said ring. Okay, so I wanted to explain a little bit more. So, we had picked out a band that I really liked, and Grant had bought the band, but he wanted to pick out the center diamond by himself. And so he was going to come back at a later date to pick out the band, and at that time, he was going to pick out a diamond and have the diamond set on the ring. But unfortunately, the jewelry store closed during the whole thing happening, and so it just recently recently reopened and so that's why he never got it but we needed to get a head start on wedding planning because it was less than a year away um by the time we started and so that's why we started planning a wedding before actually getting engaged but we wanted to plan a wedding for early summer of 2021 and so even though we're not officially engaged we picked out a location picked a date all these things and so i'm just gonna put that out there so this isn't like a huge like crazy like what the heck is happening type thing but it goes along with the questions so susie asked she asked two different questions the first one is Are you guys planning on moving in together before or after the wedding? We've talked about that, and um, I think it's something we both mutually agree on. We spend a lot of time together um, and have been spending a lot of time together, but we are going to wait until we're married to live together. Um, And my perspective on that is I think you have a really good idea of what it's like being with somebody all the time, the the more time you spend with them. Um, But... Yeah, we're we're planning on waiting till after we get married. And the second question is, who's more excited about the wedding, you or Grant? Mm, I think Annabelle is. Annabelle is. Annabelle knows. Annabelle doesn't quite understand. I I, I don't know. I'm. Uh, I think I'm pretty excited. I hate to say I'm pretty excited for a guy, but I think hopefully hopefully all you guys out there are excited for your weddings or were excited for them. Uh, if you're not, maybe you're not married anymore. Um, <laughs> just kidding, guys. <laughs> I, I'm pretty excited. I think I think Taylor's really excited. The The venue that we went and looked at is just super amazing. And the way that all worked out was super easy. And um, we both really like it. And uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I feel like I'm the luckiest person in the world to get to marry her. So how could I not be excited? Like, I'm really excited about, like, wedding planning and all the stuff that goes into wedding planning and like what it takes to actually get to like the wedding day that we want or I want it might be a little more me than him because I think that's just how it goes sometimes I think it's a girl thing 
yeah so I feel like I'm super excited about like the whole wedding planning thing like I've definitely even bought things already mostly like decoration type things because I feel like that's all we really can buy right now anyway so for wedding planning I feel like I'm probably more excited for the wedding itself I feel like we're kind of on the same page like we honestly talk about it all the time though I feel like we do. I definitely think we do. Like, I feel like it's, I mean, at least, like, once every day, so. We want it to be perfect. Yes. And it's going to be. And so y'all have to subscribe to our channel so in a year from now, <laughs> you can see how it all turns out. Until then, I'm sure there'll be more, like, wedding planning videos and, like, I don't know. maybe Dog videos. Dog videos for sure, but... Maybe we'll make one of like us testing wedding cakes or we should do a, we should do another one of the venue too when we go back out there. Oh yeah. And the other thing is we have the end of July, so tomorrow will be July first. The end of July we are going to San Diego on a little mini end of summer trip. Um, and this will be the first time Taylor has been to the ocean. Um and so anyways, I have a bunch That's of really fun. That's really sad. I have a bunch of fun stuff playing for San Diego and we'll, we'll take lots of video for that, but that's that's coming soon and maybe there'll be a big surprise in there too. What does that mean? <laughs> My camera ran out of memory and now it's about to die. So, I guess we're going to wrap this video up. I think those were all the questions that we had, which that actually went a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um so, yeah, I'll edit this video within the next year and post it on YouTube. <laughs> I'm so bad at YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I don't remember what I usually say at the end of my vlogs, but I know it's like, usually... Like, comment, share, tag, do those things you like to do, or if you don't like to do those things, don't do it. But uh, if we get a hundred likes... Likes. We'll do, we'll do a hot sauce eating video. We'll do a hot sauce eating video. I don't know. We'll do a sticker giveaway. Saying. There you go, sticker giveaway. We're gonna show her all kinds of cool things in San Diego. So yeah, he's not going back to school because he's old. But mm -hmm. every day is the same for me. I can't wait for that day though, like to have a just normal job because right now I'm paying, I'm paying money to, I'm spending money to, to make money. Well, yeah, but I'm not making money right now. But you will. I will. You're spending money to make money someday, in the future, the near yeah. future. I'm investing into my future, but currently I'm spending money to leave my house. Whereas when I'm done with college, I'll be getting paid money to leave my house and do things. And, oh, also, I have a new Instagram page um, where I'm going to be posting stickers that I have drawn and possibly some other type, like, artsy type things. And I'll probably have them up on Etsy soon. So I will leave the link here for you. I'll leave my username here for you. They're and really cool, guys. <laughs> and if you guys want to check that out, you definitely can. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.